Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Some more Digimon Survive. We... So we have all the people on our team, but then we can add three more Digimon. So we'll add Angel Woman, Gigadramon, and why not Edamon? Why the heck not? I don't think Angel Woman and Edamon will really do anything. So we'll see. Ooh, 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 I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't skip things, man. Okay. I'm not gonna look through like all of these people's stuff, but like I just wanna look around. So there's Drachmon over there. Okay, Falcomon and all of them are over there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna move Angelmon over here. Gigadramon up here. See, this might be one of those fights that I don't want to evolve super early to their max stages. So maybe I'll go Diatrimon first. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if I can hit from here. Yeah, that's the only thing is like, you don't do their mega forms or their freaking, I say mega form, but I, I actually don't remember. I'm really bad with remembering everything now it's like you don't do their max forms they uh just don't do that much i think i'll do i will do dino rexmon just because dino rexmon is absolutely dummy braxton so he is ridiculous If I go here, I'm gonna, you know what? Screw it. Let's just digivolve to our max forms because I'm like, I can hit with uh, Mad Dog Fire here. It's not gonna do much, but at least we're getting some damage off. Gotta remember that I have all of the Tamer upgrades as well. The Tamer talks. I'll bring Edamon over here as well because Drachmon isn't fully, doesn't have a fully not even fully, but like the next stage Digi Evolution, so I think Drachmon's gonna need some extra help. Also, uh, okay. I was I wanted to double check that it wasn't like Drachmon gets knocked out as the lose condition or something. Uh, I will end turn here. Nice miss. These guys are blind, man. I'm digging it. <laughs> We're gonna move you here. Blossomon. I love Blossomon. Okay. Ogre Flame. Go here. Resist. This guy resists fire quite a bit. Um. Destruction war weak. This. Let me. Let me actually evolve you into Chromon. Is there any reason that it's not called Digi Evolution in this game? Or are they just trying to make it seem more like these things are real and not digital? Is that just they're trying to like remove that distinction? Team attack, nice. We'd love to see it. Uh. Nope. Okay. Heaven only knows what you might find. Dare, dare to believe you can survive. Uh, Heaven's Charm. Okay. 
Okay. We could try and take this guy out. Yeah. Nice. Blossom on sprite in this game is just so good. I, I, like, every sprite in this game is so good, but I'm just like, I don't know what's up with this Digimon. I, they just look so good. Okay. Edamon. We're gonna just line them up like this. Hopefully they don't have a straight shot in the side. <laughs> nice counterattack. I love the animations in this game. This game's so clean. Like, it's so well made. Could not have asked for a better game, I don't think. It's definitely, though, like... I say that, but it's like, you cannot like this kind of game, but like, just, gosh, it's so good. Okay, it's resummoned one. We'll come up the middle. Gonna get those assists in. I probably could have hit him, actually. <laughs> I was just focusing on getting assists. This does 350. This does 516. Might as well, right? Nice dodge. Right. Makes sense that the the person with no legs is like the slowest on our team. Uh, he doesn't resist. We'll do this, I guess. I don't think that gets the kill, but does quite a bit. And Edema or Gigadramon's next, and then Etamon. But I think those ones get to move. We'll see. Can Gigadramon hit this here? Nope. Uh, we'll do this then. We'll get the Dinosaur Dragons. Nice dodge. Uh, love Serenade. We'll try it. I mean, it's got a buff a little bit, so I'm like, it could have potentially KO'd. The heck you guys doing? Rip that guy to shreds already. Calm down, Kaido. If we don't keep our cool, we'll lose the battle. Lose the battles we can actually win. Don't you dare act all level-headed. I bet you don't give a damn about all this. Kaido. I'll, ta I'll avenge Mew by sending all these bastards that took her away straight to hell. I mean, that's... The spirit? <laughs> I guess. Not, not the healthiest way to look at it, I don't think, but... What gets you through the, the battle, I suppose, my friend. Okay. I wish I could hit both of them with Mad Dog Flame. If I had, like, a better position, I could. Uh, We'll do this. We'll move you here so that we can get this guy with the side bit of the T attack. Take him out there. And then move you over here. How's this doing? He resists. Yeah, he resists wind heavily. Um. Then I'll just move you up. He 
It doesn't resist light, so that will do... That will do a little bit, but not too much. These guys are actually hitting a bit. It's weak to water. Unfortunately, we just don't have water on us. Because that was Mew. I... Yeah, that lagged a bit. I was like, how did I miss that? I mean, not how did I miss that, but I'm like, that that's the miss animation. It's like, just freezed. Okay. We'll go around. Can you hit genocide gear? Oh, just out of range. He was one step closer. Uh... We'll move Edamon over here. Because that guy's confused. We don't really need to, like, focus him down heavily right now. So. Um. Yeah, we'll do this. This is... 3% chance to crit, 3% chance to crit. Let's get that 3%, baby. Dang. Is she gonna move? She is, because she can hit him. Oh, please don't kill him one shot. Nice miss. Okay, because I'm like, he's a little bit roughed up. Uh, okay. We're gonna move you up here. He resists. He resists dark and he resists fire, but he resists fi uh, dark less, so we'll do that. Oh, I should have used her ability to heal. Because I'm thinking this... Well, I think I'll do this, though. This was my plan. When I forgot that she could heal. I want to... I want to give you something that heals you. Do, okay, we'll do this. Just to get some health back on you. Uh, that's movement amount. We'll just end. And we will heaven charm this guy. Angel Woman actually putting in a lot more work than she previously did, which is great. Okay, I'm fine with you attacking Chromon because he's going to dodge, but I'm fine with you attacking him because we don't want to have you focus down Dino Rexmon. Uh, you can definitely take him out with just a regular hit. He's like one tap. That's fine. We love to see it. Um... I was thinking about making him movement up, but I thought against it just because I'm like, he'll be fine. But now I'm kind of like, dang, I should have done that. We'll do this. Love Serenade. He resists it. We'll just take this one out so we can get that. Even though I still haven't really looked at inventory management and equipment yet. Haven't gone back into looking at that. Uh, okay. We're going to go talk to Dino Rexmon, get his stats up. And then we're going to move here and attack with Ogre Flame. She resists fire, but the Kenanogami gets taken out and it was a critical. And we have like just buffed stats in general. She's going to go back up. She's feeling the pain. I wish we could have moved her into a into the position in front of that st uh, step there. Okay, it's all good. We'll move him here. Move Angel Woman. Just do all the damage you can to this guy. I know it's resisted, but just beat him up. I think I'm going to send Blossomon up here. 
so that we can go around Giga Dramon. Nice dodge again, Angel Amon. Okay. Uh, do any of these have weaknesses, actually? This guy has a weakness to water. Can't do anything about that. Nope. Sorry. I meant to check that. This guy has a weakness to wind. Okay. Maybe you have a weakness, too. You don't have a weakness to anything. Okay. I didn't think you would, but... Okay. Daniel Rexmon, move up. Ogre Flame. Oh, we need a little uh, SP at buff there. Okay, there he goes. We got a little bit of SP back. Ooh, she's going for... Edamon to take him out. I think that's going to be her mistake. I think that's a, a blunder there because we're just going to be able to hit her with the side hit. I'm, I'm going to give Dino Rexmon a movement buff just to confirm. I'm pretty sure we can still hit him no matter what, but just to confirm. This guy's 30. This guy's zero. Okay. I was looking at the resistance to dark on those two. And we get a nice team attack in there. and We always love to see it. We'll face this way. Okay, we're gonna do on Takuma. Just to make Donald Rexmon be able to move up further. That might have been actually oh wait, never mind. I was thinking that that was uh Donald Rexmon's movement. I'm like, that might have been what we needed. Uh we'll do Saint uh, Savage Emperor. I'm pretty sure that lowers or has a chance to lower stats. I don't think it did. Okay, let's hope that he's not in a position that Dino Rexmon can't get there now. Uh, we'll move you here. Okay. Can Blossomon hit? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> but whatever. I was going to see if Blossomon could hit Renamon over there. Okay. I like how Kaido's screaming to, like, kill them, but, like, Drachmon's the weakest on our team right now. I guess we'll keep Giga Dramon here for now. And an Ogami. Okay, they're bullying our healer. I guess that's a smart plan. They confuse her. Confusion's kind of, A lot of the statuses in this game, I feel like, are really just broken. Okay. You can do a regular attack. With a buff. Takes out her, but I'm pretty sure we still gotta take out the rest. The rest of the rabble. Okay, we're going to move you here, and then we're going to do Savage Emperor on you. Shoot. Th oh, we shoot both of them. Never mind. That's amazing. I, th I keep feeling like, I keep thinking that this is a one tap. Go like one person. Uh, that KOs. And, yep, that KOs. Nice ooh. I'm like, now I just gotta make sure I've been recording this entire time. That would have been really lame if I just real like didn't even realize that I wasn't recording. We've won, Renamon. Not yet. I can still... Stop! We're begging you! You can't take anymore! I am not defeated. Not 
defeated. I will save her, no matter what. Zip it. All that's left is to finish you off. Please wait, Kaito. Out of my way. Your anger is completely justified. Just please hear me, if only for a moment. Please, what now? Stop it, Kaido. The battle is clearly over. We don't need it to continue this cycle of hurting and being hurt. I get it. You're just the same. Kaido? Renamon. I know you share a powerful bond with Miyuki. I have no intention of taking her away from you. You lie. You already abandoned her. I have no reason to lie. And I'm grateful to you. You've suffered a great deal. I can see that. I see what pain my existence has caused you. Hate me if you must, but I want us to work together. If you continue to trust what the Master told you, it will only prolong your suffering. Prolong my... I do not wish any further anguish upon you. You or Miyuki. That's why you told I told you not to talk to her. There's no guarantee the Master will keep her word. I'm sure you realize this. Still, you clung to that promise because of because you had no other choice. Isn't that right? But the Master has been the one threatening Miyuki from the very beginning. And if she learned that you were suffering due to the Master's treachery, the one who would be hurt by this the most is... Miyuki, isn't that right? Let's take her back, Renamon. Save Miyuki, my sister from the match Master's Clutches. Let us accomplish today what we should have done 50 years ago. Haru. I. I. Come on, let's do it. I knew it would come to this. I always forget how to do his voice. Who's there? <laughs> Oh, I hope they don't kill Renamon. A heart that yearns for... A heart that yearns... A heart that yearns is, is a heart that betrays. I must remain not but an impotent... I must remain not but an impotent beast. Miyuki? No. Master? This isn't what it looks like. Oh, I thought, that, I thought he was making fog. Look, all the servants standing behind Miyuki. Just punishment for fool just punishments for foolish traitors. Oh, now we're fighting. Do we get to fight alongside uh, Renamon this time? Or do we gotta protect? Is this like, uh, you gotta protect Renamon? Miyuki, are you still there? Miyuki! Do not mistake this for the time you spent at her side. The maiden's soul sleeps within me. Your voice shall not reach her, no matter how hard you try. What? Then your promise? Why must I heed the words of some craven beast? You really tricked me. Don't listen to him, Renamon. Miyuki's responded to the professor's voice in the pat or in the castle. Her heart is still nearby. Ah. Miyuki, my fated child, please hear my voice. <coughs> uh, what? Huh. Ren? Renamon? Haru? Miyuki? Miyuki. <laughs> A useless effort. The maiden is already under my control. Shut up. Miyuki isn't just a thing you can possess. Her smile, her song, her kind heart. You can't just treat all of them like your toys. Let her go. Oh, is she going full? Let's go. What's happening? That's it, Renamon. Transform your feelings into power. Oh, that's dope. We got three warp evolve. Let's go, baby. They they even used like the right terminal. It's not even just like Digivolve is no longer a thing. It's like they still got warp, warp evolution. Okay, is it gonna be like basic cannon Renamon? Right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I was like, maybe they throw us a curveball. She was kind of going down the right, like, 
the same line, but that's dope. I love that. That's that's a perfect Sa Sakuyamon is a perfect Digimon for a maiden. Cause she's like a monk maiden like guard even, you know? Uh I guess this might be a longer episode. Don't wanna I don't wanna end right here. We'll do Labramon, we'll do Falcomon, and we'll do Floramon, I think. Floramon's lower level, but tech technically kind of stronger than um, Drachmon at this point. Oh, now we get to use her. What's her attacks looking like? Amethyst, Mandala. Raises special attack, one rank, raises damage dealt by a skill two ranks when attacking an, an element the target is weak against. Interesting. Okay, um... So we're just taking on, this is just a classic, we're fighting things, got it. So this might not take as long as I think it will. Okay, I'm going to increase movement speed on Agumon when he becomes Dino Rexmon. You basically never really need to if, if he's in Chromon, you never need to increase Falcomon's own speed. So having that as well, like having just the mobility options is great. We're going to do this. I could go around, but there's no point. I'm going to evolve into Dino Rexmon. To match our friend there. Uh... I do this. We'll do this. It's not going to do a lot, but it gets our stats up a bit. Uh, we'll evolve here. Tell me how you guys feel. Like, how do you guys play this? Do you guys always go full Digi Evolution, or are you guys really meticulous about it? Like, when you Digivolve... Also, a random question, but I found it an interesting topic, and we and you don't have to necessarily listen or give a shit about what I'm talking about, but it's an in, it's an interesting topic that someone was posting on Twitter. They were like, "Do you care if the person you're watching, the content creator you're watching, actually cares about the game that they're playing, like, or is actually having a fun time rather, not care about the game, is having a fun time? Like, if they're not enjoying themselves, do you find less enjoyment?" And I think it kind of depends, but I think for the most part, yeah, the person playing the game has to, or or doing the content or whatever they're doing, has to somewhat enjoy it. Unless the point is that they don't enjoy it, like some sort of punishment video in the sense of like, oh, they lost a challenge and now they got to do something, you know, like shave off their head or so shave off their head, shave off, shave off their hair, you know? Because like people do stuff like that. So, uh... I wanted to ask you guys, how do you guys feel? Do you guys feel that you enjoy things more when the person you're watching the content of enjoys what they're doing more? Or is it, like, more... That's a crazy attack. More a, um... A basis thing? Like, some things are right, some things are not. Or do you just, like, no, I don't really care as long as I enjoy the content? Like... And not even, like, in a bad way, like, oh, I enjoy the content, so, like, I don't care, you know, I'm, it's not even, like, a selfish way, it's just, if you enjoy the content, uh, you don't really care, like, you don't think about it even, like, that's a totally valid, uh, like, way to think about it, I'm just, I'm interested to know if you guys have any insight on that. I think it's an interesting topic, because I think, for me, the more enjoyment I have in playing a game... I think and doing content makes it e well obviously makes it easier for me to do the content because it's not like absolute ass and it's like enjoyable but I think it turns out better in the long run because I'm having more fun with it and like when you have more fun it's like when you do a school project and you actually give a shit about the school project you I feel like you always do better unless you know like obviously there are edge cases and stuff but 
I feel like whenever I actually cared about whatever I was doing for school, I always did better. I always got way better grades. And sometimes that doesn't always... Uh, I think when I when I say stuff, or like, not even better grades, just better work. Because not necessarily. Sometimes you put in a ton of work and get absolutely nothing for it. But it doesn't mean that that thing isn't bad, you know? Like, there's a lot of videos that I make that I think, like, these are my favorite videos, but they're not the most viewed videos on my channel. Does it mean the most viewed video on my channel is the best video I've ever made? No, I do not think it is. I think people just really... That one just hit the algorithm, you know? A lot of people just saw it. But some some of the videos I work really hard on and I think are like some of my best videos do become like the most viewed videos on my channel. And then so it's it's never about like, I guess like views are almost like grades. It's not like about the grades. It's about how much work you put into it and how how good you think it is, I guess, if that makes any sense. Sorry for this rambling. I just find it interesting. It's the thing I think about every once in a while. Like, well, the one thing I don't think about the thing I asked you guys. The doesn't matter if like the person enjoys what they're doing if they for the content. That was something on Twitter I saw recently. But just the the if you enjoy things, you probably do like it. Probably becomes better. You know that. That's just how it be for me, at least. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna go around here, this way. And we'll do this from the side. Savage Emperor. I think even with grades, with grades and views and numbers in general, I think they're a fabulous way to see how much you've progressed. I was talking about this a little bit on stream, but I think it's a fabulous way for, uh, to see how you've progressed, you know? Like, if you get a C on one thing and then you get an A on another, like, test, you, you, you can obviously see, like, okay, I've improved, you know? But uh, I think people get, even in school, there's always that one kid that was, like, way too focused on his grades. And I think that's one thing. It's when the numbers become the sole reason you're doing it. I think that's the issue. But I, I also think that it's, like, you can worry about numbers and not let it overtake you. But it's not, worrying about numbers and, like, looking at your numbers isn't a bad thing. I feel like a lot of people including myself at times like there will be people being like oh this sucks because x y and z I, i'm not making enough views and i'm just like oh whatever like it's not that big of a deal but like i think i think people take it too seriously and i think people who there's people who take it too seriously and people who take people who take it too seriously too seriously if that makes sense I, I, none of this makes sense but it's it's just you know some something that's been on my mind it's better than me just talking about nothing while we play the game, right? Sometimes, sometimes it, these gameplays, I, I fall into the uh, the trap of just going, okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do this, because sometimes I don't know what to talk about. And you know, these are always good moments to a good chance to actually like talk about stuff because there's no story really going on. Oh yeah, let me let me know about all the all the stuff down in the cow mansion. If you ever so feel it, wish, even if you want to bring up like absolutely nothing, like you just want to talk about something random, ah, eh, you know, maybe not. But <laughs> I was gonna say like you can like even if you just want to chat. I don't randomness can be sometimes bad when it's like I have no idea what you're talking about. But if you get like anything anyone ever wants to chat about, like you know i'm always i'm always around i'll probably if you comment on a video i'll probably see it and i will probably respond to it like it put the little heart thing that's what i really like seeing you know uh i 
I'm trying like my best way to do this without being like, yes, farm comments. You know, I need you all to comment on this bit because I don't like when people do that. And on and I like probably have done it before, and I like. It's always hard because it's like I'm probably am, like being hypocritical by saying like some things because I feel like I probably do that unintentionally or intentionally completely, and I and I just like. I'm I'm definitely a hypocrite when it comes to things. Uh, to to things like YouTube and stuff where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do something that I wouldn't enjoy, you know. And then I uh, I times change, I change. I want to do different things, or sometimes I'm just like, yeah, comment. Oh, if you like the video, I hope you like it, you know. I don't, I have no idea what I'm even talking about anymore. I hope you guys are just enjoying these absolute rambles. This will be a time capsule. This is what I love about videos, especially when I like ramble and talk about absolutely not absolute nonsense, like nothing makes sense in them is because this be video becomes like a time capsule of the the time I was doing in this where it's like everything I'm saying I will I will forget. And then when I rewatch this one year, I'll be like, what the fuck was I talking about? And it just becomes a. Or I'll be like, oh yeah, I totally remember. I used to feel like that a lot, you know? And then it's a it's a time capsule, which is basically what my YouTube channel is meant to be. It's meant to be just a time capsule for my life and just being able to watch videos of what I used to do back in the day and, like, relive moments. It's funny because I started rewatching. I, I haven't, I, I don't watch it, like, I don't, like, watch videos crazily on my channel, but I was watching a little bit of Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and, uh, these guys are so annoying, because they're not even, like, doing damage, they're just running away and being damage sponges and dodging, but I was, uh, I was watching Digimon Cyber Sleuth, and it's really funny to watch yourself in a video, because I constantly will make jokes or like even recently like just re-watching some stuff to, to edit i was like i will make jokes in my head like when when i watch things i will like listen to what the person has to say and then um try and fill in like if someone's gonna make a joke i'll try to fill in the joke in my head and try to like predict what the joke's gonna be and then uh it always, like, I'll do that when I watch my own content. And uh, I'll always end up making the same joke in my head that I make in the video that I completely forget that I make. Like, I'll be like, this is, uh, this is, and, like, me and the video will, like, pause, and I'll be, like, stupid. And then I'll hit the video be, like, stupid. And I'm just, it just makes me laugh all the time. Okay, this guy's at least cornered now. Everyone's D digivolved. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Even at least a little bit. I had a lot of fun just chit chatting with you guys. If I ever think of a topic and we're in a battle, I'll definitely bring it up and just chat with you guys. It looks like Renamon is just like a full fledged party member because she's getting EXP. And we got an ultimate enlightened slab. I want to see who we can digivolve, if anyone. So, we're not going to pay attention to what the heck's going on here. Uh, <laughs> even though this might, like, this could be the end. I want to see, uh, before we, before we end off, can I digivolve anybody yet? Ooh, okay, yes. Let's digivolve Angelmon. I probably should have digivolved, uh, Gigadramon, to be honest, but. Seraphimon is dope. I love the music playing right now. Uh, let's go... Okay, I was like, let's go Metal Seedramon. Okay, we're gonna end off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!